So, you're pretty comfortable with Substance now, but you're curious about the display settings. Not a problem. The display settings can be found on your top right. Now, behind the scenes, there's a kind of HDRI background default environment that is responsible for your lighting and reflections. To see it, just increase the opacity. Now, you can see it, but it will be a little blurred. To unblur it, just reduce the blur over here. Now, the intensity of the environment lighting is controlled by exposure. The higher the brighter, the lower the dimmer. And rotation just controls the light around your work. This is exactly the same as holding down shift and right click to drag and rotate the light normally. Now at any point you can change the environment by clicking on it and selecting a different one here. This is great to help you make sure that the textures look right in the environment you expect them to be during render. If you're working on a scene in the desert then it's probably best you set the environment to a desert while you're working here in substance. Normally alignment is set to the world but if you set it to camera it will no longer move when you rotate your model. Instead you will have to use your shortcuts or manually rotate it here. Shadows are normally off by default but you can turn them on here, change the strength and intensity of them here and how realistic they are over here. It's usually on light by default but when you're rendering you might want to up the intensity just to see what they look like. Now under camera settings you can set the camera to a specific angle like this. While you're at these preset angles you can lock the camera in position with this. And if you try and move the camera from this position it will revert to the default camera automatically. The field of view and focal length can be adjusted here and they are inversely related so changing one will automatically change the other. If you check this box you can start adding post effects. Check all the boxes boxes for all the effects that you would like to add. For example, with color correction you can change the saturation, the contrast, the brightness, bias, sepia amount, and temperature. The DOF gives you access to the focal distance and the aperture of the camera. Tone mapping lets you change the exposure, gamma, function type, and mapping. And the glares just let you pretend to be JJ Abrams. With control of the luminescence, threshold, remap factor, and the type of flare in the shape of the controls here. You can change the vignette effect like this, and everything about the lens distortion effects are over here. You can change the power, the FOV, roundness, and edge smoothness. If you want to mess with the anti-aliasing, you can do that over here. This controls subsurface scattering. If you have a specific color profile, you can set that and adjust it here. Tone mapping function can be set to either linear or aces. The texturing filters and mitmap settings are controlled over here, and the camera frame gate mask opacity is controlled like this. So if you're using a stencil, its transparency is controlled like this. And if this box is checked, when you left click to paint from your stencil, the stencil will disappear. If you have it unchecked, the stencil will stay visible the entire time. Now one of the most useful things in my opinion is being able to see the mesh wireframe. You can control how sharp the visibility is with this, or change the color of the wireframe over here. And I very rarely ever mess with the channel display settings. They are only available when using a single channel view mode. You can turn shading and lighting off here, change the HDRI scale values here, change the colors that represent positive and negative over here, or set specific color channels like this. And if you ever want to see the floor of the world, you can turn the grid on over here. You can pick the axis you want to look at by picking Y, X, or Z, and change the color of the grid like this. And last, the transparency and visibility of it is controlled over here. So that's how you control the display. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.